Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Franklin families, Franklin staff, central office leaders, school board members, and most importantly, welcome Franklin High School class of 2024. My name is Eric Weiss, principal of Franklin High School, and I'm so excited to be here with all of you on this beautiful evening. Tonight is a special night for all of us as we celebrate the class of 2024, and I, for one, cannot wait to get started. But before we get to the class of 2024, students, I would like you to look up into the stands around you at all the parents, grandparents, friends, families, and teachers, and others who have been there for you the last 18 years. because these are the people who will continue to be there for you as you move forward. So thank you, community, for your support. At this time, I would like us all to please rise for the, singing of the, for the national anthem, followed by the black national anthem. Please rise.
You may be seated. I would now like to bring up our senior class president, Aubrey Lewis, for our land acknowledgement. Franklin High School would like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional land of the Purse people of Seattle, the Duwamish people, past and present, and honor with gratitude the land itself and the Duwamish tribe. Thank you. Thank you, Aubrey. Well, not you, but I'm about ready to get started. Franklin High School has a long celebrated and proud tradition of academic excellence. And at this time, I would like to recognize our top scholars. Our top scholars are those students whose GPA put them in the top 10% of the class of 2024, and they are recognized by the golden stoles they are wearing over their grounds. At this time, can all of our top scholars please stand and be recognized? Thank you, top scholars. You may be seated. It is now my great pleasure that I get to introduce three individuals from the class of 2024 who have some words of wisdom for all of us. One of whom I've known since they were, as my grandmother would say, knee high to a grasshopper. Amelia Math, I'm looking at you. But, uh, but first, to start us off, we have Nia Hunt. I just said that. Okay. I often like to ask myself, what if? What if I never met my current friends? What if I never joined QTV? What if I never attended Franklin? All of these questions tend to, tend to sit in the back of my mind, and the only answer I can come up with is, I would not be the person I am today. I expected high school to be like high school musical, but I quickly learned that it is nothing like that. But I'm also grateful that it wasn't like that, or else I wouldn't have had such a unique experience. Franklin welcomed me with open arms, which really allowed me to get comfortable in the environment. The teachers are understanding and open-minded, and as a student who often struggled with asking for help, I am thankful for the teachers who pulled me aside and asked, what do you need help, um, help with? There was one teacher who knew my potential and encouraged me to exceed my own expectations and try new things. That teacher was Mr. Faulkner. He taught me so many new things that by senior year, I realized that I knew how to do almost everything in the QTV studio. I love QTV and many others found joy in sports, theater and student led clubs. We have so many communities at Franklin that even my own classmates taught me new things and helped me grow as a person. I'm grateful for seniors like Callister Clements for always keeping a positive mindset when things got rough. And like Jonila Peters for sticking by my side through all my tough times. And Ezekiel Gomez Santos for sitting on the field with me and keeping me company. I wish I could shout out everyone, but just know you all have a place in my heart. To finish my speech, I just want you to know that I am nothing but grateful because not only have I found community, but I have found myself within it. Thank you. And now I would like to welcome Ethan Wong to the uh, podium. Good evening, family, friends, and distinguished guests. My name is Ethan Wong co-owner of Seatown Clothing, and I have the honor to stand on behalf of the Franklin graduating class of 2024. As Nia mentioned, 
a lot of us threw ourselves into extracurriculars such as QTV, sports, theater, or even rigorous classes such as Mr. Matthews' pre-cal class or Ms. Rice's humbling UW lit class. But we also weren't able to do any of this by ourselves. All of my dreams are becoming realities and the sole reason why are my parents. My parents came from nothing. My dad coming here on a boat from Vietnam with four of his siblings and his mom and immediately had to become the man of the house and provide. My mom came here with my uncle and grandma not knowing what they were getting into. They've managed to work their butt off and give me and my siblings the life they never had, giving us opportunities in my giving us opportunities and experiences they were never able to have. All the sacrifices they've made for me and my siblings, I don't know how I could ever rethink them enough. To my parents, and to my older brother, who was my role model growing up, and to my little sister Gigi for always being there for me when I needed to talk to someone. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to every single parent, friend, staff, and administrator who has impacted the lives of every student in here. Seniors, we have been surrounded by goodbyes our whole lives. We have said goodbye to our teachers in elementary school, to our middle school lockers, and even to our parents dropping us off in the morning. From kindergarten to junior year, we knew that every goodbye before summer meant see you next year. However, saying goodbye today does not promise the same. Without a doubt, saying goodbye to each other, th the people we have grown up with, will be the hardest part of this day. Seniors, it has been such a great privilege to share this journey with all of you. No matter how far apart we are, I promise to always cheer you on. I wish you all the best of luck forever life may take you, and I hope our paths will cross again in the future. Congrats, class of 2024. We did it. And for our final student speaker, I'm proud to welcome Amelia Math to the podium. Class of 2024, congratulations. We made it. My parents often remind me and my sisters of one of their favorite poems called The Dash. And today is one of the many memories and milestones that will form your dash. The poem starts with, I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of birth and spoke of the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represented all the time they spent alive on Earth. On September 2nd, 2020, we all began a new chapter in our lives. Today, June 20th, 2024, this chapter is coming to an end. Those are just dates though. What matters the most is the 990 day dash in between. One of the most significant changes I've experienced in this chapter of my life is learning not to take everything so seriously. When I began at Franklin, I followed every rule down to the letter. I even showed up to advisory every day. My focus was solely on school leaving me little time to relax and enjoy the world around me. However, over the last four years, I've come to realize that I don't want to look back on this chapter of my life as merely a memory of burying myself in books at home. Instead, I cherish the spontaneous adventures with friends, the laughter in classes, and witnessing the remarkable accomplishments of my peers. The end of the poem reads, so when your eulogy is being read, with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they said about how you lived your dash? I would say I am proud of my time as a Quaker, not only because of my accomplishments, 
but because I have made wonderful connections and memories with teachers, peers, and friends. And most importantly, because how I have changed as a person. I have learned to do what brings me joy, not what looks best in the eyes of others. Now, as we begin the next chapter of our lives, and they become a little less structured, we step into the need to self-regulate and establish standards for ourselves. It's time for us to think about what important values and habits we want to prioritize in our lives. For me, it's important that I continue to learn a good work-life balance by creating time in my schedule for both. We create habits, and over time, our habits will create us. So, as we leave here today, I want you to reflect on your time as a Quaker. What are you proud of? What do you want to work on as you start the next section of your life's dash? Think about what legacy you want to leave behind and how you can make the most of your dash. I am proud I was and always will be a Quaker in my dash, and I hope you are too. Before I end, I have one last thing I want to remind you guys all of. Please remember to be Franklin all day, every day. Thank you, Nia, Ethan, and Amelia for representing Franklin High School's class of 2024. As I look at and listen to the three of you, and as I look out into the class of 2024, there are so many emotions. Pride, excitement, hope, and curiosity for all of you. I must admit that this is a special moment for me, not just because this is my first graduation as Principal Franklin, but also because as I look out, I see faces I have known since they were two, faces I have met for the first time this year, and unfortunately, faces that are not here. The graduation ceremony is a time not just for looking forward to the lives you're moving into, but also a time to reflect back on the lives that have been lived. Before we move on, I would like to acknowledge the members of the class of 2024, both here and across the country, or who are not here today, including your peer, Omar Abdullahi, whose empty seat is placed in the front row. Please join me in bowing our heads in honor of those who should be here. As we raise our heads and eyes, and we keep the past in our hearts, knowing that those who are not here would want us to move forward and make our world a better place. As I look at all of you, all of you who have started their high school career in a pandemic, all of you who figured out how to come back to a world that had been shattered and start putting it back together again, all of you who have made your voices heard by demanding things like mental health in schools and a say in how we treat the planet that you live on, all of you who continue to innovate and share and create in ways that surprise and amaze, as I look at all of you, I know our future is bright. And so it's with pleasure and congratulations that I introduce you to the world, class of 2024. And now it's the time that we've been waiting for. We will be presenting you with your diplomas. Franklin High School. It is now time to celebrate your graduation by the reading of your names into the record. School directors will now direct each individual row to stand and move to the outside of your row where you'll be directed to the main stage. As your name is read, please pick up a diploma cover and move to the center of the stage. Pause for your picture to be taken before returning to your original seat, and then please sit down as soon as you return to your seat. We will repeat this process until all students have had their names called. Mr. Jackson, Ms. Gotti.
down there. That's, yeah, you can go one in front of each other. Yeah. Are we ready? Layla Akata. Erica Feliciano Antonio. Alvin Arianes Rosas. Hava Appleyard. Yeah. Abdullahi Ali. Tahir Adams. Asali Abdallah. Aisha Ali. Yahaya Abdallah. Nastafa Abdilia. Nastafa Abdilia. Sabrina Abdul Kadir. Hashim Ali. Jamila Avanor Hassan. Ridwan Abib. Layla Ephraim. Mustafa Ali. Christopher Aliano. Omar Abdule. Katrun Abdullahi. Co-owner of Seatown Clothing, Ethan Wong. Aubrey Lewis. Leo Hassan. Go that way. Nia Hart. Amelia Math. Cairo Angeles Cortez. Griffin Ayers. <laughs> Jess Anmoyo Alogo. Margasa Ahmed. Chuma Ali. Elijah Brown. Brittany Andrade Herales. Xavier Baja. Sumaya Abdi. Amina Barga Smith. Naima Abdi. McKinley Bell. Jeffrey Bacani Chica. Dallas Kawagden. Hamza Bonea. Desiree Bowles. Nathan Cirillo. Dalia Bardales. Jaron Quagdan Casillo. Maya Britt. Insu Cabial. Annika Berry. Noel Chan. Wenny Chen. Alhella Calderon. Saling Chow. Halima Bashir. Callister Clemens. Tassin Chadui. Court. Tess Charles Jr. Reginald Cooper. Qua Chow. Yoselin Cruz. Jasmine Campbell. Jesus Cruz. Sing. 
Yi Chin Lee. Kevin Cortez Ruiz. Anthony Chong. Crisa Dasalia. Sabrina Colbert. Vinny Jin. Shania Colsart. Imani Dillon. Evan Chin. Mark Davina. Andrew Chan. Aiden Escara. Gabriel Davis. Hazel Easterday. V. Taj Fadulo. Sky Dumas. Jonathan Andres. Kalani Edwards. Yuji Gan. Ibrahma Dukri. Kaltumo Ito. Jaden Vince Hebron Gosman. Jaden Michael Fields. Bill Jiang. Melody Fontana. Sabina Goff Barnett. Adi Frank. Angie Garcia Diaz. Jordan Hairston. Johan Gaspar. Clara Hansen. Robel Gabrakina. Abel Hagos. Alexander John Gitz. Georgia Gray. Oscar Rogelio Hernandez Carrion. Giselle Gianna Corpus Guillermo. Angelica Hartmanets. Navea Hamburg. Alina Ho. Behir Hassan. Jada Hui. Cheyenne Henderson. Emily Huen. Angelina Hetmetz. Theo J. Ingram. Amari uh, Hill. Bartosa Jama. Kobe Hong Valley. Walter Jewell. Marshawn Hillard. Come on. Why y'all all over here? Kelvin Hitter. Sydney Helen Jang. Melissa Interline. J. Juan Ivy Ivory Fatima Buli Jawara Jimma Jax Saeed Hamish Amari Jason Jackson Sergio Jaimes. Adriana Umhe Kim. 
Jennifer Jimenez Quiro. Zachary Kwan. Rainbow Lai. Dejon Jones Villar. Amelie Ligo. Abel Casa. Ruby Knight. Crystal Lemus. Ziomara Kim. Sing Fang Liang. Huen La. Alan Liu. Kelly La. John Lee. Ahmed Abdi Mohammed. Jonah Lee. Riley Marr. John Lynn. Fatuma Mohammed. Willie McCoy Murphy. Joanna Christina Maurera. Francis Liliana Lucas. Altea Factor Miranda. Ellis Ma. Christian Meza Cortez. Natalie Anusa Manavion. Sean McKillop. Gael Montel Sarriento. No. Nolan Mungchan. Emmanuel Navrati. Nasanet Mabratu. Natalia McConnell. Han Nguyen. Hannah Miller. Angela Wynn. Leslie Molina. <laughs> Andy Wynn. Timoteo Mas Morales. Okay, okay. You already know Soraya Dunbar. <laughs> Malik Muhammad. Marianne Padilla of Francia. Jalen Nazarene. Marcus Antonio. Julene Quiroz Morales. Tiffany Nguyen. Parvati Ramatar. Caitlin Lee Nguyen. Renaldo Tomas Ravancho. Fabian Ortiz Rivas. Chelsea Robancho. Uh, 
Terrell Carvales Ritman Violet Sires Samantha Reyes Rivera Vivian Schmidt Rodrigo Diaz Zephyr Stream Kevin Wong
Okay. Nicholas Trout. Mustafa Ali. Aisha Tunkara. Fatawi Tafela. Nan Ong. Wait, lock, Daniel Tao. Sasa David. Win Tang. Anders Vanderberg. Bam Tut. Ryan Vick. How are Christopher Tinoco Cordova. Natalie Warren. Isabella Totan. Mary Gold Wong. Daniel Tran. Junrong Wu! Ben Tran! Li Shen Wu! Jasmine Tran! Leo Tran! Alexandria K. Twazo. Benner Yorgan. Karen Troll. Angela Yu. Tiamong Trong. Gavin Yuan. Shay Turner. Valdez Perez Emily Zhao Casey Marie Villar Andy Zhao Michelle Paternina Giovanni Vicente Jayu Wu Asha Isa Shek Darren Wu Lady Yannis Kelsen Yu Sandy Yu Chow Wrong, Jane. Helen Congratulations, class of 2024.
right, we just got a couple more things to do. Director Hersey, it is my great privilege to present to you the Franklin High School class of 2024 who have met the graduation requirements of Seattle Public Schools in the state of Washington and are prepared to graduate today. Principal Weiss, on behalf of the Seattle Public School Board of Directors and the citizens of Seattle that we represent, I hereby accept the Franklin High School class of 2024. Congratulations, you have officially graduated. All right, and now I would like to welcome up Aubrey Lewis for the turning of the tassel. Hi, my name is Aubrey Lewis and I am your senior class president. And before we end, I just wanna say how proud I am of every single one of you guys. You guys are the, one of the most, wait, sorry. I'm so proud of you guys and you guys are the most dedicated, determined and unexpected group of people that I have been able to spend the most important four years of my life with. When I'm like super old and people are asking me about high school, which is like 10 years from now, I now have the privilege to say that I got to spend the most important four years of my life with people who I know have not only gone on to do great things, but have become great people. I said that backwards, but you get the idea. Um, okay, sorry, I'm kind of yapping, but thank you to my parents and for everything they do, and thank you to my best friends, Hannah Miller, McKinley Bell, Jaden Fields, Zoe Pavong, and Earl Grey Williams. I love you guys, and let's turn the tassel. Okay. Um, okay. Franklin High School graduates, it is now time for the time-honored tradition of moving your tassel to signify your status as a graduate. I ask you to stand if you're able, so stand up. Get it going, people. <laughs> To move your tassel on the count of three from right to left. Okay, so one, two, three. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2024. All right, thank you. Families and guests and students, hang on just a moment. Families and guests, we ask that you remain in your seats until all graduates have been dismissed from their seats. They will exit out of the northwest field level, exit from the stadium, and head to the International Fountain. We will be opening the tunnel doors underneath the south side grandstand to exit to the Seattle Center and meet your graduates at the fountain. Graduates. Our staff is heading to the back of the field to form a tunnel to celebrate your graduation. After the tunnel is formed, graduates, you need to still be in your rows. You're almost there, back in your rows. graduates, you may now be dismissed by row and head back through the tunnel of your faculty to the International Fountain where you can meet with your family. Staff, please move back if you've not already to the tunnel. You may dismiss. <laughs> 